Well, we're pleased to be here today at the opening of 104 new cells at the Alouette Correctional Centre for Women. Uh, it's an important part of our expansion of corrections facilities uh, across the province, $185 million in total in this phase. Uh, the Alouette uh, part is a 43 and a half, roughly, million dollar investment. But what's important is that this facility is uh, designed to ensure that our staff are safe and the inmates uh, have the support services that they require. I'm very excited today to see the secure building finally opening. The main reason for my excitement is the huge benefits this new building will have for staff. We've also been working very hard on the design over the past few years. We wanted to design it so that it was truly a safe and secure working environment. The safety features for women in this new building with vital programming and the right supports will help restore hope and independence, repair families, and strengthen communities. We want to make communities safer, and I want to share with you a little story. I want to tell you a little bit about Lisa. Lisa was a drug addict and a trafficker living in the downtown east side. She has been in and out of this center over the past eight years, and every time she walked through the doors of this, this facility, she felt relief. Because in her words, I was off the street, I was safe, I was clean. Each time she stayed here, she took part in the programs offered and was able to learn something more about herself. Lisa has now been living in the community for a year. And a few months ago, she saw a card in a store that reminded her of the staff here at Alouette. The, court, the card had four simple words, I believe in you. Lisa sent that card to the staff. In it, she wrote these words. You never gave up on me, even when I did. Thank you all for encouraging me. She says staff here, and I quote, always saw something that I didn't see in myself, and that is who I have become today. A trustworthy, hardworking, loving, and compassionate member of society. Know that your jobs can and do save lives. I should know. From the bottom of my heart, Lisa.